Hey guys, Alex here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods in Minecraft 1.61. The reason I'm doing this is because the installation sort of setup is slightly different with the new launcher that's provided with 1.61 than in other previous versions. So the way I'm going to be doing it is by injecting the mods straight into the Minecraft jar file. And the mod I'm going to be installing is the Better Sprint mod. I was originally planning on doing this with Optivine which is basically a performance booster for Minecraft which I would really recommend getting if you haven't already but it hasn't yet been updated to 1.61. All of the links of course will be provided in the description. So firstly open the new launcher which will be provided when you download Minecraft 1.61. I've got mine here. Now it'll look like something like this when it's loading and when it's loaded it should look like this. Now what you first need to do is find where your Minecraft game directory actually is. So in the new launcher it's relatively easy, you just click edit profile, tick this box which says game directory and you'll see that this box now is white. You then want to copy everything in this box by hitting control C and you can then close all of this. Now you want to then paste it in a search bar in your Windows Explorer. You can do this by clicking computer and you see this search bar here, you just hit control V and hit enter. Now this will take you to your game directory for Minecraft, you see here .minecraft. You then want to locate your versions folder and double click that. Now you see here it says 1.61, that's the version of Minecraft that you're going to be using. You want to highlight it, click it once so it's highlighted, right click and click copy. You then want to paste it and then rename it. Now I'd recommend renaming it to the same name that I do just to save confusion. So I'm going to call it 1.61-mod. I'm then going to open this and rename both of these files. I'm going to rename this one to exactly the same as the folder before, 1.61-mod, and the same with this one. Okay, so I don't have to do this because I've done it already, but you want to get this .json file, click it once so it's highlighted, right click and select open with. You then want to select Notepad or whatever text editing software you use. Most people will be using Notepad. Hit Notepad and click OK. Now I'll open this, which is just basically a load and load of text. Now it looks really complicated, but you don't actually have to faff with that really at all. All you have to do is click Edit and then click Replace. Now I'll open this little window. And what you want it to do is, you see here it says 1.61. You want to find everywhere where it says 1.61. So you type 1.6.1 here and replace 1.6.1 with whatever you called your folder. In this case it was 1.6.1 dash mod with a capital M. You then click replace all and as you can see this has changed 1.61 dash mod. Now that's it, you just want to hit that X button and click save. Now the next part is actually installing the mod. Now if you haven't got it already you're going to need a program called WinRAR Archiver for the next part. Again, all the links are in the description below. So, again you need to go to your game directory by pasting it into the address bar that we saw earlier and locate the 1.61 mod folder. Now I've already got a shortcut to, the, to my game directory here on my desktop so I can just click that, click versions and 1.61 mod. Okay, so I'm now going to get this executable jar file here, click it once, right click and press open with WinRAR Archiver. So that will open this window here. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight this meta imp folder here and just delete it. You don't need it. Press yes. That's going to take a while. Actually no, it won't take a while. It's pretty fast. Um, and that's that bit done. Now don't close this. Just minimize that. And I'm going to drag this to the left side of my screen so it pops into place. You then want to open your chosen mod. So mine is the better sprinting mod. So open that. And I'm going to drag that. Oh, sorry. I need to close that little window there. I'm going to drag that to the right side of my screen. Now I'm going to press Control A or just drag and highlight all of it and just drag it across making sure not to, you don't want to drag it into these folders here, you just want to drag it over over these class files here. So you drag and drop then hit OK and that's the mod installed. So I can close all of these and basically what you want to do is you open, then open your Minecraft launcher, hit Edit Profile and choose your version as whatever you called the file, so I called it 1.61 mod. Then click save profile and then you're going to hit play. Okay so I'm actually in game now with the mod running. So as I said the mod I was using was the better sprinting mod. Now what that does 
is basically it enables you to run without having to double tap W every single time you stop. So that's quite good for parkour. And it comes with this little menu. So if I press O, the menu will come up. So as you can see, the mod is actually working. So um, I can I can hold a button to for it to sprint. So in this case, it's automatically set as the left menu key, whatever that is. Um, you've got sneak toggle and all of this stuff. So that's the mod installed. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.